This is my green iguana killer. His scientific name is Iguana Iguana. His species comes from parts of Central and South America. <laughs> I got killer in an East LA pet shop. I've had killer for about eight years now. He's a four foot long, eight pound male. I'd like to share with you how I keep him healthy, happy, and strong. This is how to feed your dragon. A very common misconception is that iguanas are carnivores. They are not. They are strict herbivores, which means they eat only plant matter. Sticking to an all-plant diet will ensure that their colors remain vibrant, including greens, oranges, reds, and blues. Feeding them any animal protein causes health problems and shortens their lifespan, as well as causing them to turn dull gray colors and causes them to have very aggressive behavior. Isn't that right, killer? Now that we know that iguanas are not carnivores, let's discuss the iguana herbivore diet because not all vegetables and fruits are healthy for iguanas. Head lettuce is like cardboard for iguanas, hardly any nutritional value whatsoever. Wild plants and flowers could be toxic. Acidic foods such as oranges, grapefruits, lemons, limes, kiwis, pineapples should rarely, if ever, be fed to iguanas. Come on, killer. Let's go to the grocery store. Here we are at our local grocery store up in Tahoe, and uh, we're in the produce section so that we can talk about what killer's diet consists of. Uh, I have my grocery list here, and uh, his staple greens are collard greens, escarole, dandelion greens, endive, mustard greens, and watercress. His staple veggies are acorn squash, butternut squash, green beans, okra, parsnips, snap peas, yucca root, uh, bell peppers have a great taste and are a great color enhancer. His staple roots, <laughs> his staple fruits are cactus leaves, mango, papaya. I do feed him banana, melon, blackberries, and raspberries on occasion, no more than twice a week. So today we found collard greens, escarole. We have arugula and watercrest. These are some of his staple greens. The more of the variety of these items, the better, but you will probably find that the grocery store rarely has all the items at the same time. So get as much of a variety as possible. We have bell pepper for his color enhancer, yucca root, acorn squash, well, that's butternut squash. This is acorn squash. Acorn squash, butternut squash, parsnips, and snap peas. Snap peas make a great treat. Blackberries, raspberries, mango, and bananas. This is rhubarb. Rhubarb is poisonous and deadly to iguanas. Never, ever feed them rhubarb. Welcome to the kitchen. This is how we prepare our greens. Okay, so this is our collard greens. We're gonna roll it up and chop it down the center there. Then we're gonna cut it up to bite-sized pieces. Since my iguana is so large, his pieces are very, very big. If you have a greenie or a smaller iguana, cut the sizes of his greens to the appropriate size so that they're all bite sized. This is the escarole. Then we have our arugula. And last but not least, we have our water crest. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a big ass salad. We're gonna take all the greens and 
dump them into the sink here. Make sure you wash your sink and if you use soap, rinse the soap out real well. And then we're going to toss. And now we're going to stuff. I find that this amount of food will last about a month if you freeze it and microwave every time you get ready to feed. Now we do the same with the veggies. This is the parsnip. I'll cut the ends off. I'm not going to peel it. The skin's not too bad. The yucca root, I did peel just because the skin is like leather and I don't feel like feeding that to my iguana, but you can if you'd like. Small bite-sized pieces. And then we do the acorn squash and the butternut squash um, seeded, also not peeled. There is a lot of conflicting information about a proper iguana diet, but one thing that seems to be consistent is that there should be a calcium to phosphorus ratio of 2 to 1. The Green Iguana Society's website has a food information chart that gives detailed information on the calcium to phosphorus values for various foods. Some other good websites to visit are the Iguana Den and HenryLizardLover.com. Peppers, color enhancer. Through the magic of TV, we have frozen veggies, already froze. We're going to take a good handful. Now, Killer eats quite a bit at one serving, but you should only feed your iguana as much as he's going to finish in one serving. This is about the right amount of staple veggies Killer will eat. I'm going to do these for two minutes in the micro. Now for his staple greens, that nice salad that we made up, we're just going to put these in for one minute. Now we have his staple greens there, all nice and warm. If it's too hot, don't feed it directly to your iguana. Let it sit for uh, just a minute or two to cool down. It's dinner time, killer. Are you happy? Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold it tight. So happy together. Imagine how the world will be so very fine, so happy together.